uh, Mammoth Cave uh, was important in the War of 1812 uh, b by providing saltpeter, which gunpowder was made out of. And they had quite a mining operation that took place in there. Uh, after the War of 1812, they saw this stream of revenue drying up, so they wanted to do something else. And uh, a couple of things that happened that made it possible to move from mining to tourism. A few tourists had already stopped by uh, in 1814 to see the cave, and it became famous because of mummies that were found not only in Mammoth Cave but but in caves nearby. When I say mummies, they were just uh, uh, a few uh, Native Americans had been buried in there, but but part of them had just uh, lost their way or been trapped by a rock, and their body, bodies were mummified. And uh, these mummies were were taken out and and sold to places like museums in New York and and other places, but. Uh, they were delivered by the owners of Mammoth Cave here, and the way they made the delivery was by traveling to every city and opening these up for people to view them. In so doing, the name of Mammoth Cave became known all over the eastern part of the United States. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, in, the, uh, in the early 19th century, uh, Mammoth Cave was called uh, the second oldest tourist attraction in the nation, second only to Niagara Falls. Uh, it was uh, quite an elaborate facility, a large hotel with a dining room that would accommodate about 100 people and a ballroom on the second floor that would accommodate about the same number.